In the previous Cursed Weapons episodes, unsurprisingly, we created a lot of different types of Cursed Weapons. Cursed melee weapons, pistols, assault rifles, sniper rifles, fire, explosives, RPGs, even animals. But we did not give enough love to the shotguns. We kinda left them out. I felt bad. So that's what I decided to do today. This episode will be a shotgun special. We'll be creating only cursed shotguns and we will do that using this machine. The Weapon Mixer 7000. In case you are new, basically what this machine does is you choose two or more weapons from the panel, then you press the combine button and out comes a combined weapon. To learn how to activate this machine, go watch episode 5. The sequence is still the same for now. Alright, let's create shotguns that should never exist. Alright, for the first one, let's start with something simple. Let's choose a sawed-off shotgun and let's choose another sawed-off shotgun. And if we press the combine button, out will come the shot shot. When using a normal pump action shotgun, after you pull the trigger and fire it, you have to pump back to eject the used shell. And then you have to pump forward to put a new shell into the chamber. And then you have to pull the trigger again to fire a new round. That's three different steps that you have to do in between shots. And that wastes a lot of time. Shot Shot eliminates that problem. The concept is simple. It's two front parts of the pump action shotgun joined up in the middle. It has no typical trigger or a handle to grip it with. You hold it by the pumping handles. And to fire the barrel of your choosing, you have to pump the opposite handle back. Yes, pumping the handle back pulls the internal trigger on the opposite side. For example, to fire this right barrel, you have to pump the left handle back. And to fire the left barrel, you have to pump the right handle. <laughs> oh my god, you killed Kenny, you bastard! This eliminates that wasted time. This one move. Ejects the used shell on the left, loads the new shell into the right side and fires it at the same time. And then you repeat, back, and forth with no time wasted. And this isn't even the best part. The best part is the gun bends. So you can position it in any way you like. First one I like is the hula hoop. Really fast and comfortable way to deal a lot of damage to your enemy. Fire rate as fast as most of the machine guns out there, but the power is just immeasurable. Or you could pull the pumps back together to fire the both barrels at the same time. I call this one the throat goat. Throat goat 2. It's way easier to aim because you can actually look down the sights of the shotgun. Oh, 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 no, no, James, no! James, no, he's, he's not your competition! James, he's not your competition! Next one is the bath towel. Covers your 12 and 6 at the same time. Or you could bend both barrels to face forward together, attach an extended magazine, and just unload. Shotguns are mainly used for a close range combat because the pellets can't go very far. But has anyone ever tried throwing the whole shotgun at the enemy and pulling the trigger when it hits them? Shot Shot can be used as a spear. It has a perfectly balanced shape for throwing. When you hit someone with Shot Shot, because of inertia, the rear pumping handle will move back. Well, in this case, forward, causing the barrel in front to go off. Or you can throw it even farther if you hold it by the pumping handle. If you swing and pause at the last second, the inertia will cause the whole weapon to move forward while the pumping handle stays, pulling the internal trigger and firing the rear barrel, which will propel the shotgun towards a longer distance. We're gonna test it now on the same target and you'll see how easy it is to actually throw it accurately towards a lo- What? No, James, no! Don't throw it! Don't throw it! No! No! 
no, James, James, James. The shot shot, a deadly multi-tool. Just for fun though, if we take the same recipe, two sawed off shotguns, and pull the reverse polarity switch, and if we press the combine button, out will come the opposite of shot shot, the gun gun. Not so lethal, but a good fidget toy to entertain you during the freestyle. In one of my previous videos, I made a non-lethal weapon that you guys really liked. It was called the Pump Off. The way it worked was you just pumped the handle many times to increase the pressure of a specialized flammable gas contained within the weapon, which, after firing the enemy, would burn their clothes off. Hence, humiliating them in front of everyone. That seemed like a good platform, so I decided to make a lethal version of that. Alright, as a base we obviously start with the sawed off shotgun, and let's combine it with the highest magazine capacity weapons from the panel, such as MG249, the Negev, the PP Bison, P90, and if we press the combine button, out will come... The Pump Off 2. The Pump Off 2. At first glance, it's a normal sawed off shotgun with an extended testicle magazine. And it is. You just pump back and forward to load the shell into the chamber. But a unique thing about it is you don't have to just stop there. You can load another shell into the chamber. And another one. And another one. And another one. As much as you want, the more you pump the handle and load a lot of bullets, the more the barrel will elongate to accommodate for all that load. And when you pull the trigger, you unload all the bullets at once. It doesn't take much time either. A few quick strokes and the weapon will be ready for an explosive money shot. In three, two, one. What one? What, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh no 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 no! Don't worry about it, man. You'll be you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Trust me on this. It's one hundred percent safe. Nothing bad will happen to you. All right? Yeah, let's do this, man. Like, come on. In three, two, one. <laughs> ah, 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 James! 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 Are you alive? James! The weapon also comes in handy early in the rounds when you are defending mid. Or when you want to transport your team... Can you, can you not look at me like that when you do this, please? Or when you want to transport your teammates quickly from one point to another. It's super reliable and can be used in... No, 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 James! James! We covered pretty much everything, but what we haven't tested is how long can this barrel get? Does it stop at some point? Does it have a limit? We don't know that. So we decided to test it with you guys right now and let's see how far it can go. We'll point it straight upwards so we don't hit anything. 20 minutes later. 20 minutes in, it seems to be going fine. Nothing seems to be stopping it. So we'll just wait and see what happens. One hour later. One hour in? Again, fine. It's not stopping. I think James's arms are getting a bit tired, but the weapon seems completely okay. Three hours later. Is it me or it's getting harder to pump? I kind of feel it in my hand. Just stop looking at me when we do this, man. I told you. Jesus. So unprofessional. Six hours later. All right, now it's becoming noticeably harder to pump for some reason, and we're not really sure why. We can't even see the tip at this point. I don't know. Maybe it went to space? Will that make any difference? One eternity later. Okay, now it's just not moving anymore. It's completely frozen. We tried everything though. We tried to push it as hard as possible. We tried to step on it. Nothing worked. I think that's it, guys. I mean, we can't even see it up there. I think we've hit the limit, which I'm not sure why though. You know, maybe it is in space and maybe it's because there's vacuum in space. <laughs> there's vacuum in space. <laughs> No, no, James, James, don't pump it anymore, James, James, no, 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 no.
And before we move on to the final weapon, a lot of you who are familiar with cryptocurrencies will have noticed how Bitcoin started increasing in the price again, but it's still not very stable with constant up and downs. And because of this, our very supportive sponsor Rollbit wanted me to focus on a specific feature they offer on their site called Crypto Futures. If you can guess if the price will go up or down, you can obviously make profit. But what differentiates this from just buying Bitcoin is the multiplier. You can choose how risky you want the bet to be. Higher the risk, more the payout. It can go up to 1000x, but the risk is quite manageable because you can automatically set how much loss or profit you're willing to take. For example, I have $100. Right now, this is the Bitcoin price and I think it's gonna go down today. I don't wanna lose more than 20 bucks, so I'll put that in so it automatically stops it if the price goes the other way. I'll put the multiplier at a bit risky at 50x. I'll press place bet and now we wait. All right, it's been a few minutes. The price went down, so we have a bit of a profit. I could cash out now or wait a bit to see if the price will go down even more. The choice is entirely up to me. Simple, straightforward and very well designed by Rollbit. Check it out if you're interested. Thanks to Rollbit for the sponsorship. And let's move on to the final weapon. And for the final weapon, I decided to go old school. We take a classic double barrel shotgun. And if we mix it with the revolver. And press the combine button. Out will come... The Russian roulette gun. A classic double barrel shotgun. Two barrels two bullets one barrel pointed at your enemy another one pointed back at you it has only one trigger and upon pulling that trigger only one barrel will go off which one though is completely random every time i wanted to finish this video in an entertaining way so why not join me at a classic game of russian roulette Played for the first time ever, not with a revolver. Artyom and James were the only ones brave enough to participate. Gentlemen, I appreciate both of you for showing up. I could never thank you enough for the shit you do to entertain the psychopaths that watch this. Both of you seem ready, so let's get started. Whenever you are ready, gentlemen. Artyom. Artyom. You don't have to do this, Artyom. You can change your mind any time. There's no pressure. Artyom. Artyom, you can put down the gun now. You don't have to do this if you're not sure. Artyom! Huh? <gasps> 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 no! No! James, don't do it! James, don't do it! Please, James, stop! James, stop! 